time, weather, and... Hello and welcome to Driving with Todd. And I'm Todd. Hello everyone. A couple of weeks ago, I did a reaction to a new band called Myriad's Veil. Myriad's Veil is a husband and wife team. The husband plays guitar and the wife sings. They write their own music. And they're from Amsterdam, Netherlands. They had written me an email and said, Hey Todd. We really enjoy Driving with Todd. We watched your reactions and thought, hey, maybe you could do a reaction to our first single called The Darkness, which I did. And like I said, I did that a couple of weeks ago. They have a sound that's very similar to what I think was the folk psychedelic sound of the late 60s and the early 70s with a little bit of shoegaze in there from the 80s and the early 90s. I really enjoyed what they did. And I thought, okay, they got a second single out now called Hollow. And I've been wanting to do a reaction to that. Well, I just received another email from Myriad's Veil. And the email reads like this. Hi, Todd. Our debut album, Pendant, is out now. Now, they had told me they were working on an album called Pendant and that it would be released very soon. Well, now it's available. We appreciated your reaction to The Darkness and we're hoping you'd like to listen to our music once more and maybe make another reaction video which i want to do it could be the whole album but if that's too long yeah i i don't think i could do a whole album but maybe a track or two off the album um if it'd be too long it could also be our other single hollow or another song off of the album and then i get a link to uh the song hollow and a link to the album pendant and I thought, okay, this is cool because I wanted to do a reaction to Hollow. I just, another song would always get in the way. Now that I've gotten this email, which I received the other day, it's like, okay, we're going to do Hollow and see how that compares to their first single called The Darkness. So here we go with Myriad's Veil vale doing their second single called Hollow. vocals I, I really like her her vocals um again it it, it reminds me of, of of shoegaze though the shoegaze style of music the way she's singing uh the song it's kind of spacey and and the lyrics are kind of out there and um like i say she she's got a real pleasant voice a real nice sounding voice and the thing that i've noticed though right from the beginning was the acoustic guitar is like playing a uh a repeated melody so far throughout the song. I mean, throughout what I've listened to so far. And that's very similar to their first single, The Darkness. That had a repeated me medley or melody from the acoustic guitar as well. So they're, they're taking that same type of sound and putting it into their next single. So that's, that's kind of a, um, you know, they're, they're kind of using that same methodology 
for this single as what they used on the darkness the difference is is now as we get into the song we have other instruments come in and what's interesting and, and is there's no drumming so far there there seems to be it sounds like what's a synthesizer and and what could possibly be a bass guitar or a bass end of the synthesizer so you've got that acoustic guitar and in a synthesizer kind of playing the 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 melody of the song and then the vocals from the female vocalist and i like i said i think she's got a really cool voice i really like how that sounds let's keep on going changes up i really like how how they expanded the vocals and started double tracking her voice I, i'm guessing that's what they were doing is double tracking her voice to make it sound like it was a duet singing that portion of the song and i like how she changed up her voice now the melody continues to stay the same it's really the the vocals that make the changes in in the sound of the music which is kind of a unique way of approaching it and like I say, you got a synthesizer droning in there as well, and I'm not sure what other instruments they're using, but there's no percussion, which is kind of weird, but very similar to some of the psychedelic folk rock from the late 60s, early 70s. Um, you know, I had mentioned this last time with Donovan. Donovan did a lot of acoustic music with multiple acoustic instruments, but no drums, and, and really highlighted the songs with the psychedelic lyrics that that he would say um my brother had written me about the first one the darkness uh, their first single and said it reminded him of the group it's a beautiful day now i think of it's a beautiful day has a little bit more um breadth in the sense that i think they they use the violin um they use acoustic instruments a lot of electric instruments they do have a female vocalist but they also have a male vocalist that does a, a lot of uh, duetting with the female vocalist so it's a little bit different but I can see where there's some similarity to It's a Beautiful Day as well. Let's keep on listening and see where this goes.
Okay, I stop this right here. Okay. <laughs> This is really good hypnotic music, let me tell you. I'm starting to drift. I'm listening to this, and I'm trying to listen to the lyrics, and I'm listening to the music, and it's just taking my mind away. And this reminds me of a lot of music that that I'll sit back and I'll listen to, and, and you just kind of go into a dreamland, and, and you just get so immersed into the music, and, and you're, you're working really hard to listen to every little thing that's going on, and all of a sudden you feel yourself drifting away, and that's what this is doing to me. It's just, it's just taking over my mind, and I'm just kind of drifting away, especially with, with, with the vocals. They're just so smooth, and, and you're just kind of dreaming as you're listening to those vocals. The other thing is, is the instruments. I'm trying to figure out all the instruments. There was that one piece more towards the middle of the song, where it was this thing that was like bouncing from uh, headphone, from left to right, left to right, left to right. It was something bouncing. I don't know if that was synthesizer. If they're doing all of these uh, background tones with, with a synthesizer, and then the only other instrument they're using is the acoustic guitar. Though it sounds like there's a real bass guitar in there as well. So it, it'd be kind of interesting to know what they used to get all these different sounds. I mean, there even sounds like there's some woodwinds in the section where I just stopped it. It sounded like there was woodwinds in there as well. And um, like I said, it's just it's just marvelous. All the different types of instrumentation that you're hearing in here. But how are they doing that? What are they really using to get those sounds? And then, like I said, her voice is so dreamy. It's just such a dreamy voice. That's why I'm almost saying this has a touch of shoegaze because shoegaze is like that. You can sit back and the, the female vocals will just take you away. And she's doing that. And she's doing a great job of it. Let's keep on going. Interesting, interesting song. A lot of different change-ups, and not in so much in the melody, but in the la layering of the instruments. So the melody pretty much stayed the same throughout the, the whole song. That, that repeated acoustic guitar riff goes throughout the whole song. Very similar to their first single, The Darkness. They did the same thing in that single. But what they did here is they layered all this other all these other sounds into that repeated acoustic guitar melody and that kind of changed up the sound of the music and it was interesting on there was about almost towards the end of the song probably three quarters or more through the song they really added a lot of strange instruments making the the melody almost sound different though that acoustic guitar was still playing the same riff so that was kind of cool how they did that the other piece of it was the female vocalist I mean, how she used her voice, she changed up her voice, um, you know, again, 
affecting the melody of the song. Her voice is what really kind of drove this whole song. And then they would double track her voice. Then they'd single track her voice. It was very spacey, very um, um, uh, trippy sounding. Her voice was very trippy sounding. And, and it was very melodic as well. And like I said, um, I, and I said this several times with this video and the previous video that they did uh, for, for The Darkness, uh, it's very much like shoegaze music that was very popular in the 80s and the 90s. You know, um, I, I just feel that the, that's how strong those vocals are. And I, I, I really like what I'm hearing. This, I thought this song was a little bit, um, I don't want to say better, but a little bit more um, something that, that really grabbed you, brought you into it, and then wrapped, it, wrapped itself around your head, and then you kind of spaced out and kind of drifted onto another plane. I thought this was done very, very, very well. I like this song. Now, I, I, I'm anxious to hear their album, The Pendant, which was just released, and see what uh, what they've done on that if it's very similar to this or if they changed up some and and as i mentioned what i thought is kind of of unique about this is there's no percussion there's absolutely no percussion everything's done with um the acoustic guitar and then like i said a synthesizer might have been a bass guitar i'm not sure what else they use there seem to be some woodwind instruments but that could have been a synthesizer as well and then the female vocalist voice she really drove the song she really She's almost like an instrument as well in this song. Very cool. Very cool. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button. That'd be really appreciated. That's that old thumbs up button. If you have any comments about Myriad's Veil doing the song Hollow, put in the comments below. That'd also be really appreciated. Now, I'm going to take a link to this video and put it in my description below. So if you want to hear the song again, just pick on the link. It'll open up and play and I won't be stopping it. I'm also going to put a link to the channel that uploaded this, which is Myriad's Veil. You may want to check out their channel and see what else they have to offer. Now, have you subscribed to Driving with Todd? If you haven't, why don't you do it right now? Just go below this video. I know you still have it open and hit that subscribe button. You make me very happy. If you go over here and ring the bell, you'll get updates to my latest videos. So this is the second single by Myriad's Veil called Hollow. They just put a new album called Pendant. Check it out. Check it out. It's out there on YouTube. And uh, I'm hoping this put a smile on your face. It did put a big smile on my face. And peace out, baby.